and welcome to my channel. My name is Caitlin and today I'm here to bring you a first look at two paintings that were released during Diamond Art Club's fantastic Black Friday event. These ones didn't arrive to me in time to sneak peek but this will still give you a good idea of what they are and maybe you would like to add them to your wish list or you can still pick them up now as they are currently in stock as I upload this. I'll include the links in the description box so please do check them out if you like what you see today. So the two kits that I have today is Autumn Fire 2 and this is by Laurie Prindle. It's a square kit and it's 60, 69 centimetres by 55.8 centimetres. And the second kit I have today is Magic Forest by Sandra Winther. This is also a square painting and this one is 70 centimetres by 86 centimetres. So we'll open them up and have a good look at what's inside. So when you first open up your box, this is what you will see. You have your canvas, which is wrapped in a protective plastic film, which keeps it safe from the elements while traveling. You've got your logbook sticker, which comes with all the information that we saw on the front of the box, plus the thumbnail artwork as well. And lastly, you have your Diamond Art Club toolkit, which will include everything you need to complete your painting. So we'll open this up and have a good look inside. So the first thing you will have inside your toolkit is the basic diamond painting pen. This comes with a single placer on the end and a matching comforter. The colour varies depending on which kit, it's completely random. You will also get a four placer and a seven placer. So if you like to multi-place, you have these options available to you as well. Because this is a square kit, you will always receive a brand new set of Diamond Art Club tweezers that come with a little protective grip on the end. You have the Diamond Art Club tray, it's opaque so that you can see your drills clearly when working on top of the drill field and it also comes with a little stopper included. You've got your basic pink wax, this comes with two slabs of heart wax which is more than enough to complete your painting and it's kept inside this cute little heart storage pot. You've got your baggies. And then you have your cover minder here, which is completely random to your kit as well, and your washi tape. Now the design varies, and I think this design is actually a really nice match to the kit that we have today, the actual artwork of the canvas. So here we have the first look at the canvas itself, and oh my gosh, these colours are just stunning. The way that the purple horse stands out from all the gorgeous oranges, reds and yellows, I think is absolutely beautiful. Also included inside your kit, we have these contents. So you have your drill pack, which we will go through. You have your thank you voucher, which will come with a little coupon inside, as well as tips and tricks and step-by-step -step instructions. And then we also have our, oh, I'll just get that out of the way our legend sheet so it comes with the information we've already seen plus a bigger thumbnail of the artwork and there we go how gorgeous is that our lilies all the different colors and the movement of the mane i think it's clear to see they've done a fabulous job with the rendering to display all that movement and here we have the legend itself so i'll let you have a scan down the symbols we can see that we have 62 colours in total. And what's really nice about the Diamond Art Club legend is that all these stickers are already pre-cut, which makes cutting up super quick and easy. I can see that I have one AB in this kit. And AB stands for Aurora Borealis, which is a special drill that Diamond Art Club makes that has an iridescent film on the top, which causes a colour shift on the drill. And I can also see that I have three fairy dust drills and these are special drills that have a fine glitter coating which creates a really nice but effective subtle shimmer. It's beautiful. So if we take another look at our canvas here, I'll bring you up closer and you can just see how clear the actual canvas is itself. 
and all the symbols on it which makes it such a treat to work on. You can see that the motto up there, do what makes you sparkle. And you also have a legend on your top left and your bottom right. Now the Diamond Art Club canvas comes on this lovely velvety material. It's super soft and feels super luxurious to work on. It has scalloped edges to stop any fraying. Now this is a poured glue canvas. And you can see the Diamond Art Club uses one that has a slight shimmer in it. And it's lovely, thick and plush. So if you lay down a drill and you're not that happy with it, it is super easy to pick it up and move it again. But once you're happy, those drills are stuck on there. No need to worry. So let's have a look through our drill colours now. So your drills will come in the plastic bag that already has a sticker on it telling you what kit it belongs to. So if you like to keep your drills stored separately to the canvas, it's already easy for you to store away. Starting with 3830 and we have two bags, 355 and we have three bags. This is Z778, so this is the first of our fairy dust drills. Bring it up close and you can see that subtle glitter that I was talking about. This is such a gorgeous baby pink colour, I love it. Then we have 3776, 3858, 3834 and there's two bags of that one. Then we have 356, 3740, and we have two bags. This is 154, and we have two bags. 918, two bags. 3041, 3777, and there is two bags. Next we have 301 and we have two bags as well. Then we have 3772, 407, 452-939-841-414-365-402-552-Z976 So this is another of our fairy dust drills. 317 and 3857. We have a little bag here of 327, 632, 791, 839, 433, 225, 434, 3771, 3835, 550, and 758. We're on to our last strip now. So we have 3726Z977. So this is the last of our fairy dust drills. We have 951. 310, 553-371-435, 372-223-899, 382-6, 209-3799, 436. Oh, we have 3855, 
a tiny little bit of our AB drill. So this is 141. You can see that iridescent coating. 823. 554, 336, and lastly we have 415. So looking at the canvas we can point out where you will find the special drills. The pink fairy dust you will find scattered throughout the background. Pretty much the entire the background in this area has these scatterings of that fairy dust drill. You have your white AB on the forehead, the snout and the eyes here. And then our two more goldeny fairy dust drills you will find on our lilies in different patches of the lilies. So that's everything I have to show you for Autumn Flower 2. So let's move on to Magic Forest. So here is the first look at the canvas and oh it's just gorgeous as well and the total opposite way of what we had with Autumn Fire. This is just the most gorgeous assortment of different blues and it really looks so magical. This is the big drill pack of the various shades of blue which we will go through just shortly. But just to show you, you will also get your logbook sticker. So this is a little reminder that this is 70 centimetres by 86 centimetres. Your thank you voucher, or leaflet, sorry. And there is our legend sheet, so we can see the artwork here. It's so magical. You've got your deer just glowing, made of light, all your little moths surrounding it. The little stream and our flowers, so beautiful. This definitely reminds me of Harry Potter, you know, the Patronus. That's the first thing that jumps to my mind when I see this. I don't know if anyone else thinks the same. I'm sure they do. And here we have the legend sheet. So we can see we have 29 colours in this one. And we have three ABs, that special Aurora Borealis drill. And we can see we have one of the fairy dust drills. And if we look a quick look in our toolkit, again, this is the same that we saw in Autumn Fire. But let's see, we have our washi tape which is this purple flower design i'll just unroll it to show you like so and the cutest little cover minder this gorgeous little strawberry so here is the canvas itself i can't quite manage to fit the whole thing in at once so i'll make sure to include a pan shot so that you can see it but there we go we can see all the gradients of the blues in the background and if we go down, here is the little stream coming into view with all these lovely little flowers and our moths here, as well as the gorgeous white deer, of course, taking up the center focus. I think this is so magical. It really is quite beautiful. All the details surrounding the canvas itself are the exact same. It's poured glue. But here is a little look at our drill field. And what's nice is this is actually quite a mixture. We've got quite a lot of colour blocking in the middle here, in the background, as well as the deer itself. But then there's quite a bit of confetti actually up in our leaves and such. So it's a nice variety while you're working through it. So I'll make sure to include that pan and shot of the whole image for you. And then we'll go on to looking at the drill pack. So we have 141, one. this is the white AB, we have 823 and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 packs, then we have 794, 
Z775. So this is our fairy dust drill. 310 and we have one, two, three bags. This is 939. We have one, two, three, four. We have three, one, two, and we have one, two, three, four, five bags of three, one, two. Next is five, one, seven, and we have one, two, three, four, four bags. This is three, three, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, six bags. This is three seven five zero one two three four five bags of that eight zero nine one two and a three two two which we have three bags of next we have a one five seven eight two five there's two bags Three three two five nine three zero. There's two bags of that. This is one zero one, which is just a really beautiful AB. That's gorgeous. Can't wait to see what that looks like on the canvas. And we have two bags. This is seven nine nine. We have two bags. We have seven four seven. One five nine. One six zero, one six one, eight zero three, one six two, and this is one two eight. A little bit of pink to break things up a little bit. That's lovely. We have seven seven eight. We have three eight four six, and we have three eight three six. And this is 3756. So let's start running through our special drill placement. So the first we have is that light blue AB. And this can be found in various different places. So we have it up here in the lighter areas of our leaves. We can also find it running through the centre of the antlers. We have it in the background here on some of our moths. You will find it on the grass as well, on both sides, as well as coming down through the stream. And you will also find it on some of the flowers here. And I believe, did I see the moss already yet? Yeah, we've got some there and some of our grass on this side as well. So you will find that, of course, in various different points throughout the painting, which is lovely because it's such a gorgeous AB. The white AB can be found in our stars, the bigger ones up here, and of course, glowing from our gorgeous deer. And that comes down through the stream as well, and also on the tips of the grass along this way. And lastly, we can find it in the centre of all the little flowers in this area and up here as well. Our pink AB is found here in the centre of our deer. Now, I think that is really going to stand out amongst all the blue, so I can't wait to see what that looks like. Then we have our fairy dust drill. So this can be found coming through the stream in various places. So here, here. We have it in the centre of these flowers and we have it on the outside of these ones. So that'll look gorgeous. You will also find it in areas of the grass. And if we bring you further up, you will also find it in some of our moths and a little bit of the background as well. And lastly, it will be on some of these stars in the night sky. So that is everything I have to show you today. That has been two first looks um, at separate paintings that were released during the Diamond Art Club Black Friday event. I'll have both of them linked below for you. I would love to hear your thoughts on both of them in the comments and if this is maybe a painting that you actually did purchase at the time or have changed your mind now that you've seen them. 
Um, and also I'd love to hear how your Black Friday went, if you managed to pick up everything you wanted. I've had to be super frugal this time and I've managed to restrict myself, but my wish list is very long, let me tell you. So hopefully restocks can be kind to me. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you all next time. Thank you. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.